Hello dear students, welcome to mathematics class. This is Prakash Bankar from Tunga Degree College, Jamkandi. The next result is, if f from the closed interval a, b to r is a bounded function and p and p dash belongs to the p of closed interval a, b that is these two are the partitions of the closed interval a, b such that p is a subset of p dash then the first result is l p f is less than or equal to l p dash f. So, here lower Riemann sum of the function f in the partition p is less than or equal to lower Riemann sum of the function f in the partition p dash. Second result is u p f is greater than or equal to u p dash f. So, here upper Riemann sum of the function f in the partition p is greater than or equal to upper Riemann sum of the function p in the partition p dash. Then the third one is L p f less than or equal to L p dash f less than or equal to u p dash f less than or equal to u p f. The fourth one u p f minus L p f is greater than or equal to u p dash f minus L p dash f. And the last one is w p f is greater than or equal to w p dash f. Here w is the oscillatory sum of the function f in the partition p is greater than or equal to oscillatory sum of the function f in the partition p dash. So, to prove these 5 results let us consider some data. Let p dash contain just one point xi more than p because here given that p dash is greater than p or p dash is the super set of p then it has to contain more points than p. So, here it is containing only one point more than p that point is called as xi. So, therefore, now p is equal to the partition x naught x 1 x 2 so on up to x n which is equal to b and consider the point xi in between x r and x r minus 1. So, therefore, here xi lies between x r minus 1 and x r then p dash is the partition that is p dash equal to x naught x 1 up to x r minus 1 and the next point will be xi then x r up to x n which is equal to b. So, these are the two partitions p and p dash in p dash only one point is extra that is xi. Now, consider the infimum of the function f. Let mr dash, mr double dash and mr be the infimum of f in the intervals x r minus 1 to xi. So, in this interval the infimum of the function is mr dash. Next, from xi to x r that is the second interval in that interval infimum will be mr double dash then the total interval from x r minus 1 to x r in this mr is the infimum among these three values mr is the least value because this mr is the infimum for the interval x r minus 1 to x r on comparing these two intervals this will be the larger interval. So, therefore, mr will be the least value than this mr and mr double dash. Next, capital mr dash, capital mr double dash and capital mr be the supremum of the function in the intervals x r minus 1 to xi, xi to x r and x r minus 1 to x r. So, here mr dash is the supremum of the function in the interval x r minus 1 to xi, mr double dash is the supremum of the function f in the interval xi to x r and mr is the supremum of the function f in the interval x r minus 1 to x r and this one is the larger interval that is from x r minus 1 to x r. So, therefore, this capital mr will be the greater value among these three mr dash, mr double dash and mr. 
So therefore, this is the required dot. And here there are some inequalities. The first one is MR less than or equal to MR dash. That we have already told that MR is the least value among these three. So therefore, MR is less than or equal to MR dash. And also MR is less than or equal to MR double dash. And similarly, capital MR is the highest value. Then MR greater than or equal to MR dash. MR greater than or equal to MR double dash. So it is the required data to prove this result. Now let us prove the first one. Now the contribution to LPF and LP dash F of each sub interval except XR minus 1 to XR is the same. So here we have considered that P is equal to A which is equal to X0, X1 so on up to Xn is equal to B and P dash equal to A is equal to X0, X1 up to XR minus 1 then the point Z, XR up to Xn which is equal to B. So these are the two partitions. Now here if you consider each sub intervals in P that will be I1 that is from X0 to X1 then I2 that is from X1 to X2 and so on In that is equal to Xn minus 1 to Xn. So here each sub interval is containing two points that is X0, X1, X1, X2 and from X up to i n that is equal to x n minus 1 to x n. So, here length of each sub interval will be same and in case of p dash i 1 dash the first sub interval of the partition p dash that is x 0 to x 1 then i 2 that is also x 1 to x 2 and so on i n here it is I2 dash and IN dash is equal to from XN minus 1 to XN. So here the Rth sub interval of the partition P will be from XR minus 1 to XR. There is no point in between XR minus 1 and XR in case of the partition P, but IR dash the Rth sub interval here XR minus 1 to XR, but here xi is the point lying in between xr minus 1 to xr then this ir is less than ir dash because this interval is consisting of three points that is xr minus 1 and one extra point xi and xr but here there is no extra point in ir so therefore this length will be smaller than the length IR dash. So, therefore, the Rth sub interval of the partition P is less than the Rth sub interval of the partition P dash. So, therefore, this is we need to use in the next to prove the result. So, here the contribution to LPF for lower Riemann sum of the function F and in the partition P and lower Riemann sum of the function f in the partition p dash of each sub interval what we have considered that i1, i2, i3 so on up to in they will contribute the same quantity for lpf and lp dash f except one interval that is xr minus 1 to xr that I already told that that ir is less than ir dash means ir dash is larger than the IR then this interval will not contribute the same thing for LPF and LP dash F. Also the contribution of the sub interval XR minus 1 to XR to LPF in the partition P is MR into XR minus XR minus 1. Here to find that LPF the formula is LPF is equal to summation over R is equal to 1 to N 
small m r into delta r, where delta r is the length of r -th sub interval. So, therefore, here m r is the infimum of the function f in r -th sub interval. So, that is m r, then the length of the interval that is x r minus x r minus 1. So, therefore, this is the contribution of the interval x r minus 1 to x r for L p f and the contribution of the same interval for L p dash f means in the partition p dash can be written as m r dash into xi minus x r minus 1 plus m r double dash into x r minus xi. So, here in case of the partition p dash that i r dash is consisting of one extra point that is xi because of that xi that i r will be three parts that is from xi, x r minus 1 to xi then xi to x r and again the total interval x r and x r minus 1. So, therefore, here the contribution of the interval x r minus 1 to x r for L p dash f can be considered as m r dash. This m r dash is the infimum of the function f in the interval x r minus 1 to xi. So, therefore, m r dash into xi minus x r minus 1. So, it is the length of that interval plus m r double dash into x r minus xi that is the second interval that is from xi to x r then x r minus xi is the length of that interval. If you take the sum of these two quantities that will be the L p dash f of the interval x r minus 1 to x r. So, this is important thing to prove the next result. Now, this one is the m r into x r minus x r minus 1 is the L p f of the interval x r minus x r minus 1 in the partition p and this is the L p f of the same function f in the partition p dash. Now, consider L p dash f minus L p f. Now, consider the difference of the lower Riemann sum of in two distinct partitions that is L p dash f minus L p f. So, here L p dash f is equal to what m r dash into xi minus x r minus 1 plus m r double dash into x r minus xi. So, therefore, this one is the L p dash f minus L p f that is m r into x r minus x r minus 1. Now, it is equal to m r dash xi minus x r minus 1 plus m r double dash x r minus xi the first two terms as it is minus m r into. So, here this x r minus x r minus 1 can be written as x r minus xi plus xi minus x r minus 1. So, here adding and subtracting the term xi then becomes x r minus xi plus xi minus x r minus 1. Then it is equal to m r dash xi minus x r minus 1 plus m r double dash x r minus xi minus m r into x r minus xi again minus m r into xi minus x r minus 1. Now, here this interval that is xi minus x r minus 1, xi minus x r minus 1 is there, then we can take it out common, then we get m r dash minus m r is the remaining term and the common thing is xi minus x r minus 1 plus m r double dash minus m r and the common thing is x r minus xi. So, here x r minus xi is common and after taking that term common we are remaining with m r double dash minus 
m r now already we know that this m r is the least value among the three values that is m r dash m r double dash and m r so therefore here we know that m r dash is greater than m r and also m r double dash is greater than m r then this total quantity will be positive and also this xi is greater than xr minus 1 because xi is the point next to xr minus 1 and here xi is less than xr because xi is the point previous to xr so therefore this one is greater than 0 this one is greater than 0 and also this is positive this is also positive then the total quantity will be greater than or equal to 0 since all the terms are positive so therefore it implies that l p dash f minus l p f is greater than or equal to 0 then we can write that l p dash f is greater than or equal to l p f or the same result can be written as l p f is less than or equal to l p dash f let us prove the second one here the contribution to u p f and u p dash f of each sub interval except x r minus 1 to x r is the same and the contribution of the sub interval x r minus 1 to x r to u p f is capital M r into x r minus x r minus 1 and its contribution to u p dash f is M r dash into xi minus x r minus 1 plus M r double dash into x r minus xi. So, that we have already explained in the previous result that is why the contribution of this interval will not be same for u p f and u p dash f that is because that xi will be the extra point in the partition p dash in this interval that x r minus 1 to x r. Now, here the formula to find that u p f is equal to what? summation over r is equal to 1 to n m r, m r into delta r this capital m r is the supremum of the function f in this given interval that is from a to b or i r that is from x r minus 1 to x r. Now consider u p f minus u p dash f. So, here it is equal to u p f is nothing but m r into x r minus x r minus 1. So, therefore, that is capital m r into x r minus x r minus 1 minus u p dash f. Here u p dash f is m r dash into xi minus x r minus 1 plus m r double dash into x r minus xi. So, that is by the definition of upper Riemann sum and in the interval I r for the partition P dash this is the U p f for the partition P dash and this is the U p f for the partition P. Now, it is equal to M r as it is. Now, this X r minus X r minus 1 can be written as X r minus xi plus xi minus X r minus 1. So, here also adding and subtracting xi to this quantity then minus m r dash xi minus x r minus 1 minus m r double dash x r minus xi multiplying this negative sign to both the terms. Then it is equal to m r into x r minus xi plus m r into xi minus x r minus 1 minus m r dash xi minus x r minus 1 minus m r double dash x r minus 
z. Now here we can take the common terms that is x r minus z, x r minus z. Then the remaining term is m r minus m r double dash into x r minus z plus here z minus x r minus 1 is common in these two terms then we can get m r minus m r dash into z minus x r minus 1. So, here also we know that capital m r is greater than m r dash and capital m r is greater than m r double dash and also z is greater than x r minus 1 and x r is greater than z. So, therefore, this total quantity will be positive that is greater than or equal to 0. So, therefore, u p f minus u p dash f is greater than or equal to 0 since all these terms are positive. So, therefore, it implies that u p f is greater than or equal to u p dash f. So, this is the desired result that is upper Riemann sum of the function f in the partition p is greater than or equal to upper Riemann sum of the function f in the partition p dash. The third result is L p f less than or equal to L p dash f less than or equal to u p dash f less than or equal to u p f. Now, you have already proved that L p f is less than or equal to L p dash f and u p f is greater than or equal to u p dash f. So, this is the first result and this one is the second result of the same theorem. So, that is L p f less than or equal to L p dash f and u p f is greater than or equal to u p dash f. And also we know that L p dash f is less than or equal to u p dash f. This is because we know that L p f lower Riemann sum of the function f is always less than or equal to upper Riemann sum of the function f. So, here it is the partition p, but here we are considering the partition p dash. Now, these two are by the results first and second, this is the previous result that L p f is less than or equal to u p dash f. Now, combining all the above statements, then we get here L p f is less than or equal to L p dash f and again L p dash f is less than or equal to u p dash f and u p dash f is less than or equal to u p f. So, here this is by the first result then by using this third one we can write that L p of p dash f is less than or equal to u p dash f and here by the second result we can say that u p f is greater than or equal to u p dash f that is nothing but u p dash f is less than or equal to u p f then by the combination of all these three results we can write the desired result that is l p f less than or equal to l p dash f less than or equal to u p dash f less than or equal to u p f and let us prove the fourth result. The fourth result is u p f minus l p f greater than or equal to u p dash f minus l p dash f. Now, we know that u p f is greater than or equal to u p dash f. Let us consider this one as the first equation and also we know that l p f is less than or equal to L p dash f. Now, multiplying this second inequality by 
negative sign if you multiply by any inequality by negative sign then the inequality becomes a reverse then it implies that minus of lpf is greater than or equal to minus lp dash f since we are multiplying with the negative sign this less than or equal to becomes greater than or equal to now consider this one as the second equation now adding the equations 1 and 2 we get upf minus lpf greater than or equal to up dash f minus lp dash f so here on adding this first and second equations that lhs must be added separately and rhs must be added separately so here upf and minus lpf here up dash f minus lp dash f so therefore this is the required result that is upf minus lpf greater than or equal to up dash f minus lp dash f and finally the last result is wpf greater than or equal to wp dash f so here wpf is the oscillatory sum and this can be defined as upf minus lpf and oscillatory sum for the function f in the partition p dash that is nothing but u p dash f minus l p dash f so therefore wpf is equal to upf minus lpf and wp dash f is equal to up dash f minus lp dash f now by using the fourth result fourth result is upf minus lpf is greater than or equal to up dash f minus lp dash f so here upf minus lpf is nothing but wpf greater than or equal to here up dash f minus lp dash f is wp dash f so therefore this is wpf greater than or equal to wp dash f which is the required result so therefore we have proved all the five results of this given theorem hello dear students welcome to mathematics class this is prakash bankar from tunga degree college jamkandi